In the news this week, a disabled actress says she's terrified by a bid to legalize assisted suicide. In the US, Congress has launched two inquiries following claims that an abortion group is selling body parts. And a Christian student has been punished for disagreeing with gay marriage. Hello and welcome to this week's news bulletin from the Christian Institute. Disabled actress and comedian Liz Carr has told a gathering in Parliament that plans to legalise assisted suicide would lead to exploitation and abuse of disabled people. Carr, who has appeared on children's TV, was commenting on Rob Maris's assisted suicide bill, which will be debated by MPs in September. I'm terrified by this bill. I am terrified because as a disabled person, I have experienced firsthand how poorly our society values disabled people. It's the same with elderly people. There are people who sincerely believe that people like me are better off dead. This is really serious. It's about life and death. Carr was speaking at an event organised by the campaign group Not Dead Yet UK to lobby MPs to vote against the bill. The group also handed a letter into Downing Street outlining concerns about the bill. Dr Kevin Fitzpatrick OBE, spokesperson for Not Dead Yet UK, said that legalising assisted suicide would pressurise disabled people into ending their lives. At Not Dead Yet UK, um, we have heard the message loud and clear from non-disabled people that our lives are not worth living because we're disabled. That therefore this legislation is actually for us, so that our lives might be ended or that we might end our own lives. Um, because a disabled life is a fate worse than death in their terms. But of course, millions of disabled people live um, happy and productive lives. What we're clear about is this legislation will open a door which will lead to more and more disabled people being at risk and dying. Allegations that a US abortion group is selling body parts from aborted babies are to be investigated by Congress. In an undercover video, senior Planned Parenthood doctor Deborah Nucatola is shown talking casually over lunch about the price of human organs. They just want to do it in a way that is not perceived as this clinic is selling tissue, this clinic is making money off of this. Okay, so um, when, when you are or the affiliate is determining what that, what that is monetary, yes, so that it doesn't raising the question of this is this is what it's about, this is the thing. What what price range would you you know, I I'm gonna throw a number out. I would say it's probably anywhere from thirty to a hundred dollars depending on the facility and what's involved. The thirty to a hundred dollar price or that's per yes. specimen that we're talking per about, specimen. right? Yeah. Yes. The video was recorded by the Centre for Medical Progress, which called for politicians to hold Planned Parenthood to account. In response, two House of Representative committees have launched investigations, and two states are also looking into Planned Parenthood's activities. The group has denied the claims, saying it makes no financial gain from what it calls tissue donation. Speaker of the House of Representatives, John Bowener, commented, when an organisation monetizes an unborn child, and with the cavalier attitude portrayed in this horrific video, we must all act. A Christian student in South Africa has been axed from her post on the Student Council for disagreeing with gay marriage on her personal Facebook page. Zizipo Paye was removed as acting president of the University of Cape Town Student Representative Council, or SRC, for her reaction to the US Supreme Court's decision to redefine marriage in every state. We are institutionalizing and normalizing sin. Sin. May God have mercy on us. She then received threats, her office was vandalized, and homosexual pornography was posted on her Facebook page. Zippo spoke to the Family Policy Institute, a pro-family think tank, about why she's resisting pressure to apologize for her statement. Being an SRC member, in my uh, view, does not mean that you need to abandon your, 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 your Christian uh, convictions and your faith. You know, um, Christ in, in my life comes before all uh, political positions or all political thoughts. The SRC voted to remove Zizipo from her post, saying they support the rights of minorities and specifically the gay community. Professor Francis Peterson, the university's acting vice-chancellor, said they support the council's need to investigate the matter. And finally, the Scottish government should rethink its controversial named person scheme, a Labour MSP has warned. 
Hugh Henry, MSP for Renfrewshire South, has joined mounting opposition to the legislation, which assigns a state employee to every child in Scotland to monitor their well-being. He raised concerns about the way the SNP is introducing the scheme. There could be significant financial implications for councils, and I'm worried that children that have no need for a named person will have one imposed upon them. I fail to see how in large schools staff will have sufficient time or knowledge to make this work properly. Public opposition to the name person scheme is growing, with a petition against the plans approaching 11,000 signatures. Scottish residents can sign the petition at notonp.org. Well, that's all for this week. For regular updates and information on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.